Hello programmer, today I'll show you how to create a real-time sentiment analysis web application using Python and Flask. Sentiment analysis is an application of natural language processing that is used to understand people's opinion. Here this is our final app. I can input some text and based on text it will give us positive or negative output. In this app, I will use analytical library to analyze user feelings based on input. Analytical library is very useful for all the tasks of natural language processing. Ok, let's start. So first, we need to install NLTK and Flask module. Type pip install NLTK. It will install NLTK package. Now let's type pip install flask. Ok, okay now let's create a simple flask app. From flask, import flask and render template. Now initialize flask app on app variable. Create a home route. Then define main function and render home.html template with render template function. Now let's create a home.html file inside template directory. I will put here hello. Now let's run this program to check everything is ok or not. In terminal type set flask app main.py and enter again set flux underscore env equal to development now flask run it will start a local server in this link here you can see hello world so everything is ok. I will use bootstrap for styling. Here I can create a simple form where user can type input and a submit button. I will give method of this form is post because I want to get data from user and send it inside my flux server. I will give a name INP. With this INP I will get user input. And for submit, I will give name submit. Here, ASON tag is for output. I will write it later. Now, let's work with sentiment analysis part. Let's import sentiment intensity analysis from NLTK sentiment dot header and import NLTK.
we need another function called request from flux package to get user input we need to define post method and also get method now we have to check if we get any data from user we will store it in inp variable here inp is the name we define in input tag now let's initialize sentiment intensity analyzer class provided by analytical library with this popularity score function we will get 0 or 1 based on user input now we have to check if score is not equal to 0 then we will return negative and passed with message variable in home.html I can use emoji here from emoji copy website. Otherwise, we will return positive. Now let's put message in this output tag. If we want to use CSS in Flask, then we need to make two directory, static and styles. Then inside styles directory, make CSS file. I have a simple CSS here. I will copy it and paste it in here to add css inside html write this link tag like this Okay, let's refresh this page. This is the final app. I hope you like this video on real time sentiment analysis using Python. Thanks for watching. For more, please subscribe.